rehearsed at all. I'm just going to be playing with some makeup and see what I come up with for a Halloween look. I really want to do something like a vampire, something really sexy and fun and easy to do that um, you can do if you have a black dress just lying around. Um, I know a lot of people can't afford to buy Halloween costumes, so we're going to be starting out by neutralizing any redness in our face. This is really going to help our white foundation look really super white. So I'm using my green color corrector in Clover, uh, and we're just going to apply that Wookie brush all over the face. And yes, it is going to look very weird, um, but that is okay, because as you see here, it is going to neutralize any redness we have, which is what, it was a problem I had last year when I was doing Halloween tutorials. I would get my face all white, but then there would be the redness showing through underneath so it didn't look as good. So um, that's why I want to start out with the green corrector underneath this time. It really works really well, if you can see that. Um, I wouldn't recommend this for everyday looks, like applying it like this, because you will have a slight green tinge to your skin, unless you really cake on your foundation, which I don't recommend doing. But as you can see, we're going to be applying white on top, so it's not really going to make a difference. Now we're going to be applying the Ghostly Color Foundation, which is just my white foundation for Halloween. I'm washing out there. There you go. Um, I've already sold quite a few of these. I'm pretty pretty proud of that, I would say. Um, I think it's a really safe, natural alternative to um, a liquid base. Um, a lot of those have really icky ingredients that clog the pores. This is the same base powder as my normal foundation. So if you already love that, you're going to love this. It's just colored with titanium dioxide and doesn't have any iron oxide in it. So that's the only difference, but it's the same quality. I'm taking a dense powder brush because this is going to apply a really opaque finish for us, which is what we want. And we are just going to get that all over. And if you're not as pale as me, you might want to get into your neck and your chest and all of that stuff. Um, for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm not really going to do that, just because I really, I don't really need to. I'm not going out with this makeup or anything, but look how white that is, though. <laughs> it looks really good. And this isn't going to clog your pores like, like the other stuff you get from like the Halloween store. It's going to look really natural, and it's going to last on you oily-skinned ladies out there, unlike the other stuff. <laughs> And even if you just want to set any white foundation that you have, you could definitely use this to do that. This will work good for any Halloween look, really. And if you want to, you can apply this, um, you can apply this wet, meaning you can mix in your favorite lotion or um, distilled water. Or regular water if you, you know, aren't that concerned about contamination. I mean, if you're just using it for like a one-time thing, that would probably be okay. Oops, I'm getting into my hair, aren't I? Oh well. The e.l.f. Mineral Lip Liner in Raisin. It's a dark purpley color. I like to line first and then I'll fill it in. For the lips, I'm taking that um, lip gloss I made with my Elf Conditioning Lip Gloss and mixing in Moriarty, which is my Dastardly Deeds Collection Matte Red Eyeshadow. Um, it makes a really beautiful lip color. So we're going to take a lip brush because this is a very pigmented color. And we're going to apply that all over the lip. Ow. This is going to make a really vampy lip color. And since we have that darker, um, not eyeliner, since we have the darker lip liner underneath, it's going to intensify this color even more. Make it a bit darker. Next, we're going to do black eyeliner all over our lids for our base. So we're going to be doing some kind of dark, smoky eye. Something really intense.
gonna be doing like a messy smoky eye. Mm -hmm. It'll look more gothic that way. And then let's just line our upper and lower water lines while we're at it, while we have the pencil out. Okay, I'm going to take a matte black, this one right here, and we're going to do our eyebrows with that. Just get them nice and arched. I'm assuming like if you're doing a vampire look, you're probably going to be wearing a black wig. So um, if you're doing like a red wig or something like that, then you know, just match the eyebrows to that. Oops, got too thick right here. So I love about makeup, you can fix anything. Oh, and this is Urban Decay's perversion, if you're wondering what I'm using. It's a really nice matte black color. One of the easier ones that I found to work with. I don't know if they've discontinued the matte eyeshadows or not, but I know you can still find them on eBay and stuff like that. I hope they have it because I love their matte eyeshadows so much. Let's try this color. This matte plummy brown color. This one right here. It is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven down on the one, two, three, four, five, sixth row. So yeah. All right angled brush. The smaller the better so you can kind of fit it in here. And we're just going to tap that in there. And we're going to sculpt out some contour here. See this foundation is really easy to blend on top of too which I like. Because when you're doing like a liquid foundation like it's not as easy to blend the powder stuff on top of that, at least in my experience, I don't know. Just really get that in there. You don't want to look dead. Kind of bring it down, kind of in a S shape. Okay, and then we're gonna get our temples too. We just wanna look really hollowed out. Kinda bring it into the forehead. Sorry, my veins are in the way. And blend it in. Just make sure everything's really blended. I'm going to have to go more dramatic with this now because I put too much on, so it happens. It's actually probably going to look better if I make it more sculpted, so maybe it's okay. If you get too much, you can always go back in with your white the foundation and correct it a little bit. Just use any kind of pointed small brush. I like the Elf Flush brush for this. It really gets into the fine spaces and just get up in the hollows right up here into your eyebrow and blend down on your nose the more sculpted you make your face the more this is going to look dramatic for nighttime and going to stand out from other vampire makeup that may be going on. Because a lot of people do vampires, but you can be the one that has the best makeup. Basically. And remember, this is going to be for nighttime, so it's okay if it's not perfectly blended or doesn't look perfect. Or it looks too dark right now because we are going to be wearing this at night, so it's not really apparent. Okay. I'm going to take a matte taupe color. So this one right here works nicely. Any matte taupe color will work. And we're going to apply this all under our under eye. This is the e.l.f. angled 
brush, angled contour brush. I really love this brush, it's really good. It just gets really nicely into the under eye area. And we're trying to just hollow out things, make, make us look dead. That's what we're trying to do, and this is going to be the base layer for everything. So now that we have the base down, we're going to go in with a little bit of that red brownie purple color that we used right here. And we are just going to blend out on the bottom part. of where you get that natural circle. It's going to emphasize that kind of crescent shape. Kind of blend this out a little bit. I'm going to go even further with a dark brown color. Um, This one will work well. This one down here. We're going to get right up underneath the eye and smoke it out. And bring it up. You can blend it into your under eye too a little bit. This is Mrs. Danvers. I did a similar look to this. Um, when I was introducing my Dastardly Deeds collection, I was wearing like the red lips and the navy blue and I loved how it looked. Um, I think it's going to be really nice and vampy. Kind of an unexpected um, take on this. If you're concerned about fallout, um, do this step first. I'm just going to try to be really careful. But um, you, can, you can always do your eyeshadow first and then do your foundation if you're clumsy and stuff. I'm just taking the e.l.f. concealer brush to do this, by the way. I just think that's going to look really cool. Like, it's going to be a different look than just doing black all over your eye. But it still has a very gothic kind of feel, since it's so dark. I'm really excited that everyone has been loving the Dastardly Deeds collection. Like, it really makes my day, and people are posting stuff to my, my Facebook page. There are looks that they come up with, and um, yeah, it just it really makes it worthwhile for me to keep doing this and making stuff for you guys really fun for me. I love it. So I just wanted to thank everybody that supported me in my line. I really appreciate that. This will be up until November 15th and then I'm taking it down because I will have um, the Christmas in Gotham collection for me out, which I've already made two eyeshadows for. I made um, a sparkly, shimmery, golden, red-brown taupe color. Um, with lots of gold shimmer in it. It's really pretty. It's called Selena. Um, it's Catwoman before she transforms. Um, and I have Deadly Kiss, which is a mistletoe green. A deep green color, kind of reminiscent of Max Humid or um, Urban Decay's Mildew. Slightly more blue in tone, though. Um, and it's just really gorgeous. It's got a gold sheen to it. So, um, yeah, I'm pretty excited about that, actually. We're going to make things easy for ourselves and put down this red-brown color that we used in the hollows of our cheeks. I like to use a lot of those same colors all over and when I'm doing a makeup look because I feel like it really ties everything together when you do that. Like it just looks really nice. It makes it look more like skin too if you're using a lot of similar colors everywhere. So that's a good tip. And we're going to bring that up into the hollows too and blend it in. Since we're gonna look there. 
We're going to take some of Moriarty. I know some people have asked how to say that. It's um, the villain from Sherlock Holmes. I'm taking that matte red color. We're going to get that in our crease too. The reason we put the red down first, the red brown down first, is because it's going to deepen it a little bit for us. We gotta do um, some eyeliner. So I'm using some liquid liner for this. We're doing the Mega Liner in black from Wet n Wild. This one is vegan, their waterproof one is not, I believe. So if you're wondering what I'm using, um, we're just doing a thick line on our upper lash line. And paper it, make it the highest point in the middle of your lid, and then paper it out. And we're gonna wing it because it's freaking Halloween. This is the time when you can do that, and it's okay. So, and I don't have any fake eyelashes because I can't find a certified vegan eyelash glue. So, if you have those and you want to use it, that's up to you. Uh, yeah, I don't. the wood. A little bit of black on the lower lash line as well. Just to intensify everything. Yep, and if you have false eyelashes and want to apply them here, you go for it. Sexy, wearable, well not really wearable, but maybe kind of pretty vampire look. It's not an ugly vampire look. So I hope you guys liked it. And um, I plan on doing a Hell in the Bottom Carter tutorial because I don't know if I told you this or not, but I am going to be um, Miss Lovett from Sweeney Todd. I ordered my costume and I'm really excited. It even has like a little Victorian hat with it. So I'm pretty happy about that. I will be doing um, her makeup from that movie. So um, I probably will do another tutorial Maybe just let me know if there's anything in particular you want me to do. Because I don't have like a ton of time to do Halloween tutorials, so I really want to know if there's somebody out there that really needs help with a look or something. So just let me know.